Hi, my name is Ivan Ristik. I'm a director of uh, engineering at Qualys. And today I'm going to talk about uh, my work uh, on SSL and SSL research. Um, at Qualys, I run uh, this research organization, small effort called SSL Labs, where we basically try to learn as much as we can about SSL um, and provide tools and documentation to people who are interested in uh, learning more about SSL and figuring out how to enhance their um, SSL configuration. So basically, if you go to our a website which is ssllabs.com. Today there's a free online assessment tool which you can use. Um, you go there, type in the domain name and the tool will go and assess your uh, SSL website and it will give you a detailed um, report uh, which is very useful because it fulfills two things. One is there's, there's a final grade which makes it easy to understand if your SSL website is configured well or not. And on the other hand it gives you a very deep assessment on a very technical level, telling you exactly what's uh, well configured and what's not well configured. So what we have, this, we have this tool as an idea that uh, most people uh, actually uh, need to know what is wrong before they can fix it. So we have this tool made available so people can actually find out what's wrong and just uh, fix it. And we estimate that uh, it usually takes maybe if you're, the, if you're the right person, 50 minutes and up to a 30, 30 minutes, half an hour, to deal with these issues and actually have a properly configured um, SSL website. So the message that we have about SSL is it's a rare opportunity in the security space that you can actually fix something and do it properly. So why not really go make some time today and do it, uh, do it properly? Uh, so, but that's only one half of our work at SSL Labs. In fact, what we've been doing for the last three months, we've been uh, conducting this large-scale uh, survey um, looking at how SSL is uh, used on the internet. And we thought that it's very important that we understand how SSL is used and we want to establish a baseline. So basically what the report uh, has it's, it's about 20 pages jam-packed with various bits and pieces uh, of information and slicing and dicing, uh, offering different perspectives on how SSL is deployed. Um, some of the interesting things uh, of the study that will probably not come as a surprise is that most of the SSL servers on the internet are not really well configured and we found for example that one-third of all SSL servers are well configured and two-thirds aren't. Um, interesting other bits and pieces is, is, for example, more than one half of all websites still support SSL version 2, although it's been many years since that we've known uh, that SSL version 2 is, is, uh, is a weak, weak protocol. Um, of course, there are some good news as well. Um, the good news is, for example, that um, most uh, s sites on the internet actually have key sizes that are sufficient and most, most sites will actually have cipher suites and ciphers that are strong enough to establish uh, good security. So overall, it's, it's, um, um, it, I think it's a good start. Um, the, the final sort of conclusion of the survey uh, is that SSL uh, there's, a, there's enough potential there for SSL to be used well. Most sites today are not well configured, but if we can manage to get this message across and raise awareness, perhaps we can get as, uh, uh, quite a few people to look at the configuration of their SSL sites so they can um, fix them and, and make them better. Uh, the report, um, you can uh, find the report and download it from the SSL uh, website, and that will not only give you uh, some useful inf information about uh, how SSL is deployed, but we also tell you what is important about SSL and the various ways in which it's used. You will find about what the problems are and what the, what the issues that the technical community behind SSL is dealing with and what the, what the issues are and how um, we expect that they will be improved in the, in the future.